Welcome to Go Get It. Today we will see some basics of building an ASP.NET MVC4 web application. To start with, there are certain prerequisites that need to be installed in your system as we will be developing a web application using Visual Studio in C Sharp. So the prerequisites are Visual Studio 2010 with Service Pack 1 installed. Next is MVC4 and third and foremost is MS SQL Server 2005 and the above versions that will be used for database management. We will be learning on how to develop a web application using MVC4. Initially, we will write a small hello world program and in later videos, we will see some important aspects say entity framework using code first approach, defining relations among tables that is integrity constraints using foreign key, view model patterns, etc. In later videos, we will develop a small application where we will have an option to add, edit, delete, say some products from the database. In this video, we will say hello world using MVC4. So let's first understand what is MVC. MVC is an architectural pattern for developing applications that are easy to maintain, fully testable and easy to integrate. MVC is made up of three words that is model, view and controller. So model is nothing but it's the representation or it represents the data of the application. That means whatever data you have in your application or it is stored in database, all the operations related to database that will be performed in model. From the diagram you can see this is the very generic MVC architecture where it shows the interdependency between all the modules. Here you can see that there is model, view and controller and this is user. So view. View is nothing but the HTML page that you see on your browser. It is a template that generates the HTML response. In classic ASP, similar to uh, the view is nothing but it is similar to .aspx control with certain significant differences that we will see in later time. Finally, we have controller. It handles the incoming request from the client. It fetches data from the models and it identifies the view. All these terminologies we will get to know in some time. So from the diagram you can notice that view is nothing but the uh, HTML pattern or the HTML template which is shown to the user. User uses the controller for all the operations, server side operations. Controller in effect manipulates the data and gives back to model. Model updates back to view and this cycle continues. So to start with we will develop a small hello world application using Visual Studio 2010. Please note all the steps to develop the application. So to start with we will create a new project. So here we have to choose ASP.NET MVC4 web application. Give it a name, say Hello World Program and say OK. Now in this project template you can see there are a lot of em entries we have. Say empty project, you can create a basic template, you can create an internet application internet application, web API, mobile application. If you choose internet application, you will get to know that there are inbuilt templates, all the ready-made templates you will find. So we will make use of internet application. Save OK. So this internet application, it will give you ready-made master page, all JavaScript, CSS files, 
so you can see the solution folder contains lot of folder which contains some uh, images css ready made all files are ready made here so our first job here is to we'll see the communication between controller and a view so here you can notice that we already have a controller which is called as home controller which is having certain methods say index method about method contact method so as soon as you build this application we are hosting the application on local host so you can see here we have hosted the application on local host to the port 21422 it's taking time meanwhile you can see here that we have certain methods called index which is having some uh, terminology is called view bag which is having some message and modify this template to jump start your asp.net mbc is the message passed and we are returning the view so as i said earlier that controller identifies the view let's see the page has loaded here so here you can notice that all the application pages are loaded here you can see home about and contact so if i click home it will reload the same page if i click about it will as you can see here this is the home controller uh, main controller it is having three methods index about and contact these methods in turn are nothing but the actions so for home controller we have different actions so if you click about it will in turn display this message which is your app description page here let's see what happens if you click about so you can see the message your app description page so here you can notice the url so what is url shows that this url is nothing but the default url used by the mvc asp.net mvc4 so here home is nothing but the controller name about is nothing but the action name so these methods are nothing but the actions inside this home controller so to start with we'll dis uh, we'll display a hello world message so we'll see we'll first of all develop a controller we'll stop this first and now we'll write a controller you will get a option to add controller and to this controller we'll give it his name as welcome so this controller is called as welcome controller and we'll make use of empty mvc controller all other options we'll see later and just add so here you have by default index action created so for this controller what we will do we will pass on a message say view bag dot do note that here view bag is nothing but a dynamic expression so we'll pass the message here equals to hello world we we'll save it now for this action as i said controller identifies the view so for this controller welcome controller whatever we have created we have this action so for this action we'll create a view so we'll right click on the method and we'll find a option called add view so this view is called as index this is a view engine we have different view engines one is aspx view engine and another is razor chtml view engine so we'll press add here before that you can see uh, option is there create a strongly typed view 
currently we are developing a loosely coupled or loosely typed view we'll see in some time what does this mean we'll add this and that's all you can see in the folder structure we have been created a folder called welcome with the index.cshtml file which has this index so as i said initially we had a home controller with the index.chtml you can notice here that the view bag whichever we have passed the message is displayed like this here so same way we'll do here also as i said message is nothing but uh, view bag is nothing but a dynamic keyword dynamic uh, expression so we'll pass the message here so whatever message we are passing from the controller welcome controller that is hello world will be displayed in this title of the page so we are done here now we'll build this press f5 so by default as it is loading the two uh, home page because in the file structure or in the folder structure you will find one file called route config so this route config is nothing but it will specify the url structure basically so here you can notice that in the url first part will be controller and then second part will be action and last part will be id these ids are nothing but the query string parameters which are optional and by default it will check the controller as home controller it can check the action as index you can change this also so by this default it means that by default or using this url it will uh, by default it will load the home page so you can change here also we'll see in some time so whatever we have created a controller called welcome so you can see that we are passing the controller name here as welcome hello world that's all that's the message we have passed from the controller welcome to the view as i said here controller by default controller the controller name is home we can make it as welcome okay we'll stop this we'll make this as welcome for which the action is index as i said earlier welcome controller is having a method called index so we have saved here we'll build this application now let's see what happens if we press again the default url you should be able to see the hello world page itself that's it we have changed it to the hello world or the welcome controller so here we have discussed about the views and the controllers we have created a controller named as welcome controller here we have passed a message called hello world using the view bag it is returning an action result and this controller identifies a view and in this view we are getting that message and we are displaying that's all so here we have discussed about controllers and views in the later videos we'll develop a small application where we'll make use of model where all the data related operations we will be doing using entity framework using code approach uh, code first approach so i hope this video has helped you to understand the basics of uh, mvc architecture thanks for listening keep watching